Hello, now we are going to see how edmodo.com is working. Now we have to go to the browse bar and type edmodo.com. So this is the first console screen of edmodo.com. We can see uh, some menus also available. That is a learn more, teachers, students and parents and districts and schools. So if you are signing up as a teacher, what you can do? What are the facilities, features available? Like students and parents also, we can go through that. And the blog, some more information will be given and support as well as this. Now, if you are coming to right side, you can notice login and sign up. The login is for registered user and sign up is for new users. The new users maybe a teacher or maybe as a student or maybe as a parent. So these are the three types of users can register. If you are coming down, you can see sign up for a free account. Sign up for a free account means you can understand something is for price also. edmodo.com and click enter. Yes, the payment option also available. It is not 100% free. It's a freemium software. Some extent you can go and use free features. Beyond that, for some special features, you have to pay the premium. Right. Now, as we are the freshers, we can click on the sign up. If you are clicking sign up, three options. One is teacher account and is saying that for teachers, co-teachers, admins, coaches, club advisors, instructional tech. So, these are the various Profiles you can comes under you will become comes under teacher account What are the meaning of co-teacher? Of course, we can have co-teachers to deal some other topic Admins is it that much capacity that much strength? Yes, there is no limit of students to enroll in your course You can admit as many as students. There is no restriction like a Google classroom so if that is the capacity then we obviously require some admin administrator so we can have admin so all these profiles comes under teacher account next one is student account the first student account class participants club members all these people comes under student account here one more special entry also given by edmodo parent account that's already discussed so you can select one of them now, I am the teacher, I am selecting teacher. If I am coming to the next screen, here we can sign up with a Google account or sign up with Office 365. If you have Office 365, you can make use of this sign up. Otherwise, if you want to give some email, the special thing is with the Edmodo is, it will ask email address, but it never verify whether the email address is true or not you can give any random you can use anything as a email id but my suggestion is make sure you are using a proper valid email id so that periodical otherwise whenever the updations are required that will be received that will be uh, you can have the periodical updations through mail okay so now i am going with uh, google okay now it is showing the first screen. In this first screen, you can notice some special items, the menus as usual, and the classes, discover, library, and messages. The right side, search bar, also available. Extreme right, you can see the profile. You can change the profile pick that we will see later. Next one is my name, and you can see the profile. So in this dashboard, in this dashboard, the left side some information available these are the various classes where i created or where i member this area it is showing some information that is shared with some other people some other people in the sense those people are not relevant to my class even though i am able to see if i want to restrict such other people posting this should be activated class activity only you activate this so that i won't see others 
postings okay so it won't show any others posting so this should be checked first all right next one what next we can click on the home already we are in the home so no difference if you want to change the profile pic you click this so here you can see a pop-up menu it is showing profile and through this clicking through this pop-up menu we can invite teacher we can have some connections we can create some smaller groups of our student so that assignments or some small tasks we can give as a group people so easily we can monitor their performance so for that reason we can uh, make it as smaller groups one special advantage uh, to all the Edmodo users we can use online office 365 so that is one of the plus point here and the settings and logout so these are the things available here if you want to set your profile pic you just click the profile pic and uh, you can click you can bring the local a photo from the local you can say upload upload pic then click then click ok now that pic transfer to this location so this becomes my profile pic so we can change that this is the way we can change it and see Kalyanakumar one student dot these are the initial things we can see that as a profile now I am coming back now I am coming back we can click on the classes so if you are mouse pointer moving the mouse pointer you can see the class is having three items one is class management another is what's due and progress the class management if you are clicking the class this is the class management so this is what's due if any given assignments are still pending we can see that that information notification will be coming up in this uh, the tab okay so that is how we can see the what's what's due and the next one is the progress so it will inform us how the students are performing whether the students are attending our given task or still any students not attended how many students did, how many students viewed our assignment so all this information we can see this progress next one is discover so discover is nothing but to check other courses from other teachers other content developers all through the world not only your school your college globally so many content developers are there of course you are also creating one class if you are creating a course and if you are sharing through library and your content also will be shareable to outside world to rest of the world your information also will comes under discover okay so like that the remaining members so many topics will be there you can search by topic you can get it so this one is library the library is whenever you are creating course if you want to store the course for the future purpose otherwise in your least time you are creating course you are logging out you want to keep inside the edmodo so this is the place so this is library and once again if you are logging in continuing the work you can get the stored information from this local drive you can continue so this is the purpose of this one library this one is messages instantly if you want to give any information to your students we can make use of these messages so this is first console screen now i'm clicking uh, classes i want to create a class see here one blue button is there in the plus mark you can click on this blue button to create a new class see the left side you can notice some three dots you click that view archived classes record reorder classes so these are the options once if you are storing one course is you are you want to delete the course you want to delete the course you can do that but the, it simply goes to the archive from archive you can do that you can delete it okay so if you want to create a course you go to the classes then come to this blue button you click this one small pop-up menu shows 
create class or join class. If you want to create a new class, if you are a teacher, you can create a class. If you are a student, you can join a course, join the class with the help of the class code. Okay. Now I want to create a class. Click there. It is asking create a class. What is the name of the class? So what class you want to start? I want to give a name web and social media analytics. This is a course. Give the description. You give some more information regarding the course. So whenever the students are entering into your class, they can see this description. They can have some more idea. So I am saying simply this is a course on web analytics and social media analytics okay so this is info. you can type any relevant information here right so next one is select a grade to which standard you are offering this course seventh standard or the pre-kindergarten or higher education adult education you can select any one of the course any one of the grade i am selecting higher education next one is select subject so what is the subject is this a computer technology or creative arts or molecular biology or science what science that may not if you are not able to find very specifically your embedded system as a course that embedded system comes on the complete computer technology you select the computer technology so that you can go further the web analytics also comes under computer technology this is the way we can select okay the next one select the sub subject in that sub subject there is no sub subject simply i am giving the blank there and change color if you want to change the color you can change the color for example it is showing green uh, i am selecting um shall i select this violet okay i'm selecting violet and create now your class will be created so this is the simple way the please select subject okay the same thing we can select it in case if you are selecting uh, health and pe here see the health physical education delivers if you are selecting science you can see the relevant subject if you are selecting computers technology there is no further subdivisions the only thing is computer i'm going with that so next one is create now see your class has been created i am not going with these suggestions i will do add the students later now we are getting into the fresh newly created course called web and social media analytics so this is the title of your class okay the class teacher I only created so I am the class teacher the subject this one the grade higher education got it all this information some more information yes click the teachers this is the course on the description here we are saying okay the next one is class code here you see this is the class code this is the class code this class code you can copy you can share to your students through WhatsApp or Telegram or mail or SMS, whatever may be that channel via media, you can share this. So with the help of this, they can enter. Only with this code can we ent can uh, the students can enter? No. They have to log into Edmodo by signing in, signing up option. As a student, then they can use this code. We will see how we can do that. Okay. So as if now you just understand this is the class code. Then right the next one what else available once again the create button is there already we are inside the class then what are the use of the create class we will discuss this create is for creating assignments creating quiz creating some other uh, the test so those options will be given under this create you just click this you see assignment you can create quiz you can create jump stack activity also can be done with the help of this thing. The assignment in the sense two ways. One new assignment can be created. 
already existed assignment also can be taken so that once again we can use the existed assignment reusing okay same way in the quiz quiz also giving new quiz or load existing okay so each and every time you need not create it if already existed you can take and you can use that the jump start is for gamifying only learning by showing the ppt by showing videos by giving the text or face to face interaction there is no fun at all right so here at modo making the classes more with fun so that is the gamifying option start jump start activity so that instantly you can create some game function the game option you can connect to smaller games just for the fun at the same time we can learn through the game okay so but this is not available here it's a new option not completely implemented but the option okay so this is how the start button will be added the one more thing so this is the title banner right in this banner we discuss all the class code discussed this also discussed this blue button also discussed then here you can see add class image if you want to add a banner you can make use of this just click is there any image let us try is the this is the banner i designed just for this purpose i am bringing that from download change the class code to change the class image okay now i am saying e save we will see it is updated or not insert it properly huh? yes it is done so this is the way we can add the banner just for just for giving some look and feel to the students because we are showing the five six courses when they are coming to the classes they have to pick up the class by giving the class code right so they should feel that we are in the some web analytics course if we are inviting the same students for some other course they should feel this is a different course if you are showing every all the classes in the white background then it won't be looks nice you know so that is why we are designing we are using that edmodo giving this option for that i am thinking in that angle right the next side you see your classes your classes you just by clicking that you can see these are the different classes these are the created different classes next one is post next one is folders you can create a folder so that the information what are the materials you are adding all those things we can accommodate in a folder organizing will be easy then members you can see who are the members of our class then a smaller group we can create the student for example 100 students we can divide 20 20 students five group so five exercises or five assignments can be given to the students we can manage we can easily organize the class five batches right so smaller group learning also will be easy and coming to this window this pan start a discussion share a class materials share class materials etc what is that etc you just click this click this the window extends expands and showing the class teacher name the class code class name type your post here we can type some information to the students hello students so hello students welcome to this course welcome to this course that's all this is the information this is the welcome message i want to send to the registered students just by giving this information we can say post it will be immediately it will be sent to all the students instantly that is the post right shall i click okay you see i clicked right it went to all the students we have taken this as a profile pic okay you can put your photo also right shall we okay no issues that will be there if you don't want to that you go to the home okay let it be we'll see later so this is the post display uh, uh, went to all the students okay the students may like that they can give comment or they can share to other students also so this is the way and uh, they can write some comments also otherwise they can respond to the comment respond to this message right 
Now I want to give one more information. I want to share the material. Shall I continue with this? No, no need. You see, once I can come to, uh, come to top, start discussion, same window available. Now we can say, please go through the attached courseware for today. Then you can say, attach the four icons, right? The one is attach files or images. Means you can attach any file or you can attach any uh, images or you can attach the video. So anything is possible to attach. Okay, right. The next one is add from library. You store some information. You already created some, uploaded some courseware that is stored in your library. You want to retrieve from library so that we can share with the students. So click the second option, second icon, go to the library, get the material, share it to control, share, share to the student, right? So here you see the next one, the format of the text. What you're typing, you want to change the format, you can see that. This is for formatting, this is for schedule. This post we are sending along with the material. Instantly, if you want to share, simply we can say post. Otherwise, if you want to fix some time, I want to share the material only tomorrow morning, nine o'clock. You go to the, you go to the fourth option, click that. It will be showing your calendar. Here you can set the data. The Monday, today is a Saturday. I want to give it to Monday. You select the Monday and what time you want to give it to the students. My class is 9.30 or 10.30. I want to give it to them by 10 o'clock, 30 minutes in advance. Okay, the AM or PM. Okay, then set date and time. You click that. See, post scheduled for July 27, 2020, 10 AM, right? You can, if you want to add any information, share. See, that is being uploaded. That's it. So in that place, you can add the PDF file. You can add some document file also uploaded that has been scheduled for 27. Okay, now we can say the post. So this is how we can post, send the information with a scheduled date and time. Okay, right. So it is saying that a few seconds ago, this post has been initiated. If you are coming to next one, so not only to send assignments or send information to the students, some more special items also incorporated in this discussion, start a discussion window. What is that? You see the right top corner within the window, the discussion window, you can notice the three dots. You just the you just click that, you can see some more items, some more iPhone action options also available. That is one is the link to post. Link to post means I am just clicking that. This particular the post link has been created. I can copy that. I can post through WhatsApp, otherwise Telegram, any media. See, you can view the message, but this is possible only the student having the Edmodo account, not for other students. Only Edmodo account holders only make use of this link, even if you are sending. Okay. So this is how we can use the first one, link to post. Next one is edit post. If you want to change any modification, you want to do any modification, you can say this post, you see, edit post, it avails says to modify. Welcome to this course. Okay, right, save. Right, now the post has been modified. Next one, delete post. If you want to delete, you can delete. The next one, see pin post. Pin post in a sense, yeah, uh, highlighted, it emphasizes, it gives some border to this post so that the students, whenever they are receiving this, they could understand that this is very important. See, the blue color border has been displayed. The pin symbol also we can notice. It means it is a very important, right? So next one is add a post, add a post to library. So this post also can be, this information can be preserved in your library by clicking this. The turn on, turn on notification for this post. 
turn on notification in the post in the sense the information instantly the students will get the notification immediately so this is the the last one this is how these three buttons also used for with new options clear <clears throat> now uh, i will be showing how to use the materials how we can set the materials you click this the four buttons are there the first button the files images are from the local system this is from your uh, sharing library from share library otherwise from a drive we can share it this one is for text formatting this one is for scheduling your post clear so these are the ways you can do that and one more very special thing also incorporated in the start discussion instantly if you want to check whether the students are attending or not whether the students are concentrating otherwise connected with your lecture or not right so by the time you can have some polls you can see you click that a poll is there you just select the poll to the class itself you can select the poll the poll question everybody understand the topic this is a question somebody says yes somebody so no right so that option also we can give how many says yes by default it is taking caps selector so you need not press the shift button simply type answers okay right some students are saying maybe or 50 50 50 50 understanding or 50 50 only so this is how these are the chances mm, now we can post it now we can post it so this question will be posted and they can select the answer they can give the answer that answer also can be displayed here you see this is a post everybody understand this topic somebody says yes somebody says no somebody 50 50 so according to that the percentage also will be showing instantly and one more thing you can check whether the students are good or not so that too at this juncture the lockdown period we may not expect every students are attending in a pleasant way so that can be checked at the time of starting your course just by clicking this this is called wellness wellness check see these questions also given how are you feeling today casually you will be asking you no know, how do you do i am telling post this post also went to the students how many students are giving i am great not okay some students are saying struggling if majority of the students saying struggling in the sense there is no pleasant environment at the students location this is a kind of survey to know their mindset okay right so these are the things given in the edmodo initially the next thing is assignments we can create assignments so that is very important to you know the work sharing materials already we seen we can share the materials and we can keep the material into library right now assignments how we can share the assignments simple you go to the again blue button click that you can see assignment you want to send the new assignment go to the load existing so that it will direct to the library from library you can pick and you can bring it to the students clear so that is a existing thing and new information new in the sense you can create a new assignment see i am clicking the new now this is the assignment this assignment without any title it has come now i have to give the title so i can give the title what title assignment assignment 1 on web analytics right this is the assignment title what are the instruction right right so this is the information description we are giving 
Okay. Along with these, if you want to attach the assignment page or some other pictures, I am attaching a file. Right. Next one is from link I want to attach. You can use it. So this one is I want to add some more information from from library. You can do that. So any type of materials easily you can attach for your assignment. Right. So this is the way you can do the assignment or even without that if you want to type something you can type the assignment here itself. Okay. And if you want to send it simply we can say assign. So if you are saying assign immediately the assignment will be sent to the students. Okay. Right. Now I am saying assign. Click it assign. To whom it should be assigned? Assigned to web and uh, social media analytics students. This is assignment one the title has given assigned to these students due date. So when do you want to give the assignment submission date? If you want to give some submission date next week, so today date is 25 you now. Uh, you want to get it on 28 or 27, you can set the time. By what time you want to get it? 10 o'clock in the morning. 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. And look after lock after due date. So what is the meaning if the students are submitting back to our Red Border portal, the submission will be accepted only till 10 o'clock. If you are checking this, after 10 o'clock, no submission will be accepted. But if you are not checking this box, it will be accepting, but it will be mentioning that it's a late submission. So this is how we can assignment generated given to the students. That's it. Now the students information to whom you want to give. You can add the students information. See, adding students. There is no uh, students in the class, you know. So that is what it is saying, add the students. If you are adding the students, this, uh, the dialog box will never occur. Okay. Right. Now, I want to add students so that we can send the, the class code. No. Okay. No issues. So this is how we can do that. Next one is we can create the quiz. Now for creating quiz, again, we have to go to the blue button, click that blue button, select the quiz, new, otherwise existing. I want to create it new, click that, click that. So if you're creating, it comes to this window. Here we can see the quiz details and quiz questions. The quiz details is nothing but you can say for what purpose you are conducting quiz as the class days, otherwise the semester exam or mid exam or weekend exam. You can say that. Okay, so I'm saying weekend weekend test. Okay, so weekend test. Otherwise unit test, whatever it is. You can mention some more information to the students. Students this is next one see more quiz options are available when assigning quiz learn more some more exposure now we are coming back to the quiz questions so this is the the quiz details now we are coming to quiz questions you click that this is the real picture of the quiz questions the speciality is you see first we'll see the questions the total numbers total questions one because the first question the template is ready so that we can enter the first question. Besides, it is showing the total points one. What type of questions you want to give? You can give multiple charge questions or true or false questions, short answers questions, fill in the blanks, matching multiple answers. These are the various types of questions we can give. We can give these kind of questions. We can evaluate manually. Their answers will be there with the question window, you have to open one by one students answer scripts, answer the 
a file and we can allot the marks. That is how we can do that. And it's a by name, it is saying short answers, but they can add, they can add n number of sentences, n number of lines. There is no limitations. Big questions also we can write. So these are different type of questions. I will show you one by one. First, I'm taking multiple choice. You type the questions here. Choose the flower. Right. So further, if you have to attach any document, evidence, otherwise uh, any uh, file, PDF, you can add it. Or you want to show any link, video, you can. Or from library, you want to give any information, that is possible. Now we are giving answers. What are the answers? The red. Red. Next one is yellow. Then rose. If you want to add one more, you can. Blue. So these are the colors. I am asking choose the flower. This is a question. So what is the answer? This is the answer. Rose is the flower. You select this. Is the correct answer? You are mentioning this is the correct answer. So if the students are picking this as the marking as rose as the flower, then mark will be given. How many marks will be given? You fix it. One question or two marks? Okay. One mark or two mark? I want to give two marks. Right. Now, one more question. You see here, I add a new question. Click this. One question over. So we are moving to the second question. Adding a new question. I am using true or false. What are the true or false? The capital of our nation is underline. Underline. If I am releasing that, you see, it is saying true or false. Sorry. It should be even the fill in the blanks, you know. I have taken, I have chosen the true or false. I am selecting fill in the blanks. Okay. So if you are selecting fill in the blanks, the question, I am giving the blank. Now the response also can be given. The capital of our nation is, you see, if I am removing this blank, the box gone. The capital of our nation, the box gone. Now see, you, you notice here, I am adding underline, shift plus hyphen, underline. Immediately it is showing the answer, enter the answer. You come to this place, you enter Delhi. Delhi is the answer. Right. Give the right answer. Right. Somebody is saying New Delhi. Somebody is saying the Delhi in the small letters. Right. Somebody New Delhi, N is capital, D is capital remaining are small letters. Will you consider that as the answer? Yes, of course, we have to consider. So that is why to avoid those uh, ambiguity, we have to say Students will have to answer in the exact one for the question to be marked in correct, marked as answer. We can give, but it will not be, there is no option here. Right? But some other, if you are going to the test modes, there, that option is there, alternate answer. But here, we don't find any alternate answer, the only daily, that's all. So we have to clearly give the mention, we have to mention that capital letter, single word, answer. That's all. That also can be, you can mention. Answer in capital letters in a single word. That's all. Answer in capital letters in a single word. That's it. If the students are understanding that, they'll be getting answer. A mock. Otherwise, we cannot. We have given the restriction. Uh, criteria. So that is the way we can do that. How many marks you want to give? If you want to give two marks, otherwise only one mark, no issues. That is up to you. I am leaving one mark as it is. Now see, 
the multiple answer questions already we have given. Okay, now we can see the preview. Click once again. Yeah, it is taking some time. You see, the first question, choose the flower. We have to select the flower. I am selecting one. Next one. Then here we can type uh, Delhi. I am typing Delhi. So next question. I choose the flower. Okay, once, once again, it has come the multiple choice. So rose and lily are the flowers. Okay. Mm, I am selecting this also. I am not selecting this one. Okay. Next one. The wrong answer given. Uh, this is something in progress resume quiz i already given this one rows and next this one is a delay is the answer then next this one is yellow and rose now we can say next now we can type something this is good thing good thing for now okay now i am giving a next next okay so now it is moving the time also it is showing 59 minutes 16 15 it's a count counting down so test by default it is showing one hour of course we can change that also now it is asking writing 50 words on lockdown i am giving yes it is needed that's all next question see the five becomes six six question five or six then we can drag the video is youtube video scanner is for virus social media is facebook url is website mm, what next software completion you can say 6 of 6 is over, right? Now exit preview. We cannot submit because this one is a test. So the preview is over. Now I am exiting the preview so that I'm coming back. Everything is fine. Nothing worry. Now we can assign this. If you are assigning, once again, it is showing the, stand, uh, the summary of submission assigned to web and social media analytics. And if any information you want to give to the students you can give it their email id is or to whom you want to submit and uh, delete uh, sorry select due date when you want to submit instantly okay <clears throat> As it, what is the time here you see i am giving only 10 minutes time or 15 minutes okay 10 minutes time <clears throat> then random questions yes random it will be random as the questions next one is the add the grades in progress, the show the results, add to grade book, yes that is need, needed, the show results to students upon completion, yes we can show them, randomize questions, so these are the options, next one is schedule it later or simply assign, so here this assign is not activated because the due date not yet selected, and select like the due date, and uh, 60 minutes i am making as uh, 10 minutes random is a question add uh, grade book progress add to grade book and okay now i am assigning this now see successfully scheduled scheduled the date is 7 27 7 27 pm okay and uh, you can say got it so this is how we can send quiz once the quiz is posted to student, the students will be attending that quiz. So once if they are attending, then we can evaluate that. I will send the quiz to our students, then I will show you how we can evaluate. Yeah, I circulated the form, I circulated the quiz to few students and they have taken the test. Uh, so if you want to see the test, 
we have to come to class in the class we can see you see here in the right side the assignment number one on web analytics assignment due date 7 27 yesterday the form circulated yesterday only so i have given some time to take the test the few students nine students assigned assigned means i submitted the students uh, taken the test nine students and not viewed four students not viewed the test and one is submitted so this is the information we are getting from this dashboard and we can test also it reached 10 students and not viewed 10 students so no one has viewed the test so we will see how the test is just if you want to go to the uh, this one you can click this assignment just to click that we can see this is the uh, screen we can see the assignment the one turned in turned in in the sense he has submitted eight not turned in since eight students not submitted overall nine students altogether nine students so uh, so this is all classes only one so four of the students have not viewed the assignment the remaining students viewed the assignments that is what the report is saying then if you want to send the remainder you can click this instantly the information uh, the mail will be sent to the remaining students right so here one student so Saurish Sinha he submitted we can grade it so if you want to grade the student the assignment we can click this so here we can click this then score so what is the score that we can I give see you can select this we can select we can check the student you want to grade then you can click this grade so if you are telling grade we can see grade one student assignment so what is the score if you want to see you can see uh, that student not submitted properly of course he attended uh, anyhow we can see how it will be so one student we can give the score so what are the score amount and the score marks so 10 i think i am giving five marks so total is five marks then subgrades if there is any subgrades you can give the subgrade marks okay then grade one assignment we are closing and closing you can see the score not reflected we will once again see that the score can be submitted here and what are the total six marks and submit grade submit grade so this is the way we can submit now see one student graded the previously one turned in eight student not turned in and this one was zero so after graded the one student we are able to see one graded so if any more students turned in again we have to go to the individual student we have to evaluate one by one so the turned in automatically converted into grade so this is how we can grade okay right so if you are clicking this we can see how many students not turned in see these are the list we can see that not turned in not turned in and enter grade so we cannot go to the enter grade right okay i am trying this see enter grade in the sense just we can say but we are not able to see the marks we cannot give the marks just for uh, the understanding i am giving marks so two graded right the next student not viewed at all so not viewed students giving giving marks to a student who has not viewed it doesn't make any sense but this is how we can grade it okay so after grading you want to get the marks for the evaluation we can take these evaluated marks to the excel sheet so how we can do that 
for that we have to come out from this screen so i am going back i am going to home now i am selecting class and if you are saying here in the class you can see the progress right you just click on the progress if you are clicking progress that class also more than one class this is all the classes will be displayed you have to select that particular course but here we have only one course that is why directly it is showing that class okay otherwise otherwise you can select the class i am selecting that class now see after selecting the class we are able to see the score of the particular student right so 300 percent so what are the marks given all these things are displayed here see second student so five marks out of six so this is 83 percent so here over given marks only one question only one mark but we have given the three marks so it is showing 300 percent so three percentage also we we can see that the weekend test no one has viewed that so that is why this column is empty okay so now if you want to take this excel sheet for your evaluation purpose here we are able to see export the right side you see add grade if you want to add any grade we can do that that already done so this one is export just click that export now one excel file is downloaded you see left bottom one excel file has been downloaded you can go to that excel sheet you can open that we can see that so this is how the evaluated marks can be taken to the excel there we can do some other calculations right so these are the students these are the student names nine students so this test this weekend test no one has taken the test so this one is assignment only one student attended but we graded for the remaining student also remaining one student so these are the total marks so this is how Edmodo is helping us to do the uh, the test right I think uh, you understood the working procedure of Edmodo. I'll meet you in my next video. Chappani, I'll meet you in my next video. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.